IBM Cloud SQL Query is a stateless service for analyzing rectangular data stored in IBM Cloud Object Storage using ANSI SQL. The service allows you to run your application's SQL queries against data in IBM Cloud Object Storage. Behind the scenes, IBM Cloud SQL Query uses Apache Spark and stores the query results in the object storage, which you can then surface in your application. You pay only for the data scanned. You can query data where it sits. There's no ETL needed to enable SQL queries. Cloud SQL Query supports the Parquet, CSV, and JSON open formats. Let's look at some typical use cases for IBM Cloud SQL Query. You can query server logs, clickstream data, IoT messages, or raw analytics events. Explore data by running ad hoc SQL queries against fresh data before the data has moved through the pipeline and into the reporting stack. Query structured or unstructured data from legacy systems, NoSQL and SQL databases, and data warehouses. Transform data, for example, rolling up data across time or compressing from CSV or JSON to Parquet. To use IBM Cloud SQL Query, you'll need to provision both the IBM Cloud Object Storage and IBM Cloud SQL Query services in IBM Cloud. You'll find IBM Cloud Object Storage in the Storage category in the IBM Cloud Catalog. Change the service name, if you'd like, and select a plan. The Light plan is free and a good place to start. When you're ready, click Create. IBM Cloud Object Storage uses buckets to organize your data. Then you add data to those buckets. And at any time, you can manage the data and access to those buckets. Let's create a bucket, which must have a unique name across the IBM Cloud Object Storage system. Select a resiliency. Cross region provides higher availability and durability. And regional provides higher performance. Then select the location based on workload proximity. Next, select a storage class, which defines the cost of storing data based on frequency of access. Standard indicates frequent access. Vault is for less frequent access. Cold Vault is for rare access. And Flex is for variable access. KeyProtect allows you to manage your own keys to encrypt a bucket but is only available with a key protect service. When you're ready, click Create. On the Bucket Permissions panel, you can manage access to buckets using AIM policies. That's Identity and Access Management. Also note the endpoints. You'll need to know the Cloud Object Storage endpoint to later access data in the object storage and store data in the target object storage bucket. Now you're ready to provision the IBM Cloud SQL Query service. You'll find it in the Data and Analytics category in the IBM Cloud Catalog. You can change the service name if you'd like and then select a plan. When you're ready, click Create. Once the service is provisioned, you'll see the service launch page where you can access learning materials, service documentation, and the REST API documentation. You'll need the instance cloud resource name for API calls, and you can access that from here. You can also launch the IBM Cloud SQL Query console. Now you're ready to start querying your data. Find more videos in the IBM Watson and Cloud Platform Learning Center.